all these kids that I met, they were um, they are here in the shelters because they were they were brought by it from, through coyotes, the people or trafficking, oh and God. that's why they put them in jail. And the kids that they go in shelters and the way they take care of them, it's you know they they even said the kids they say wow I will have my own bed I will sleep on the bed I will have a cabinet for uh-huh. my clothes. It's so sad to hear it, but they have they didn't have that in in their own countries right they sleep on the floor they are you know they're fed. They, they are re- they are taking care nicely there but you know yeah they are not with parents it's sad but if, when they come here alone or with coyotes or illegally you know you need to you need to do something right and a lot of you know a lot of like moms and kids they 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 are teached how to do it. Of they course. they go over and they say like, oh, we will be killed by gang member. Uh, we will be the you know we will be. Um, it's so dangerous. Mm-hmm. So they they allow to stay here. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I do, mean? and they're the ones that are the bad ones. Yeah, and they are not. You know, it's not. It's not true that they would. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some of them they're using that lines that you know they are they not professional, but they are. They are teached by other right. people what right. to say oh. to, to come over and to you know to to let them go to stay here because you know they could easily stay in Mexico but they don't want to stay in Mexico because Mexico doesn't take care of them the same right. as America does. 